Well, I totally goofed. Fell asleep last night, forgot to charge my phone. So it was stone dead. But I went out, found a few things. Check this out. 16 gauge finish nailer. Uh, no batteries. But not too bad. Maybe somebody's got some batteries for it. Find it. Look at this air conditioner. This thing's really clean. Maytag. Hmm. 110. Yeah, 110. Found this thing for picking up egg corns. This looks like a charger. Charger for something here. Yeah. Probably a wheelchair or something. Microwave. We found out where the HVAC guy lives and he leaves us all the little all the remnants, apparently. Ain't no copper. Ooh, look at this. 2.0. Little eager beaver. Wonder if it's got compression. I'll have to see if Fred wants that guy. Another vac hose. Sold the last one. There's a, a horseshoe kit down in there. Some sort of 3M vacuum. Service vacuum. I don't know what this is for. But image supply service. The hose is in there. wonder if it runs. Guess there's no cord. It's kind of weird. I think this is for like uh, for toners and dust. Okay, type two filter. I don't know. Have to give that a look. See, a couple aluminum chairs. Nothing too crazy. A range hood. Some wire. Some pipes. Some drying racks. Same old, same old. Normal Wednesday. I have to keep an eye out on the HVIC guy's house. See if he slips up and puts some copper out there. But I doubt it. Look, he's he's fully processing them. Alright. We get to doing something here today. Alright, I guess we're going to take some, take some copper in today. Called around, got some prices. I think it's uh, 220 right now. That was the highest I found for number two. And I got some number one down here. That should be 240. I was gonna take my brass in too, but the local yard is 135. And I believe I can get like 160, maybe even 170 for it at the other yard. So I might hold off on the brass. So I'm gonna transfer some of this stuff into these buckets to make it easier to move. And dig that number one out. And I think I still got a little bit I gotta a little bit I gotta process, so we'll do that plus this, which still needs to get done. And there's more motors, so let's go cash this stuff in while it's reasonably high. We got a project to go by. <laughs> I guess put your guesses in there. See how much it weighs. What do you think? These are all number two. And this is number one. As long as they give me number one on these. I might have to get number two on them. But even at number two price, there's, you know, 25 pounds just in those few pieces right there. So I'm hoping we got at least 500 bills in there. We'll see. Put your guesses in. And there's always more to process. All right. Well, I was saying there was roughly 200 pounds there. 82, number one. 94, number two. Prices went up a little bit today. And I had a little bit of light iron. Still at 525. 41830. Oh, it's right here at the bottom, huh? Starter? Yeah, I have a new starter coming, so... Yeah, 
out there. There's nothing else supposed to be plugged in, right? No, no. Maybe there's just not enough fuel over yet. Make sure I got all the hoses hooked up. Oh, I'm missing. I don't even see any gas in the filter. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, there's a bubble in there. Well, I don't know where the gas is actually supposed to come in at. I hope it's not on this side here and I got it wrong. It looks right. It looks right? Yeah. Oh, this might help you put the spark plug boot on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Now try it. Oh, there she goes. Shut it off. Do it again. Turn it on. Shut it off. Start it again. Hit the start again. Oh, yeah. She's going to run like a top now, huh? I don't know. Are you still... That fuel mixture still... I have it. I just turned well, it off. No, the fuel mixture is one and a half oh, out, yeah, right? I haven't touched it yeah. ever since. It's one and a half out, right? Yeah, I wonder if I should put a hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, but when it's done. Well, because I let off real quick. Hit the start yeah, again. Shit start. Stall. Hit the start. I, I am. Is it in gear? Oh. What's going on now? The key? Maybe that's why it shut off. How about this thing back here? Oh, that's what it is. Look, when you picked oh, it up, oh, okay, you okay. pulled the yes, yes, pulled the yes. leash. Try it. There you go. You you wiggled the leash. That's exactly yeah. What I did. That's probably why it's all too. Yeah. Well, the leash works, so that's cool. I think it's actually running good. Yeah. I think that jet was. Put the plastic on and see what it does. All right, come on. It's, it's almost done. It's almost gone. Look how red you are, kid. Jeez, it's hot out there. <laughs> I still heard a scream. <laughs> <laughs> well, Justin got little man's quad back together. Took the carburetor off and cleaned it out. The main jet was a little clogged, and also the air fuel mixture was like way off. I don't know what they were doing with that, but seems like it runs better for about 30 or 40 minutes, and then it starts breaking up, stalls, it won't restart. So it has a power commander on it. I think the power commander is just getting hot, and it's. It's not working, so I guess Justin's going to order a new one, get this thing fixed up on it. He's pretty much worn out by the time it stops running anyway right now, but he's getting some fun out of it. Well, what did we cash the copper in for? Put your guesses down in the comment section. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe. Come back tomorrow. Figure out what it is if you can't guess it. I'll give you guys a little clue.